All right, folks, this is the Dear Mailbag Edition. Mailbag, that sounds dirty. Mailbag Edition. I don't know. We're, We're going to call this the Dirty Mailbag. The Dirty Mailbag Edition. It's set in stone now. You know how we go on the show. Uh, so we got some questions from the audience. Uh, I'm going to look off camera. It's going to be unprofessional, but you know what? I don't have a tie on, so I'm allowed to do that. You stay professional. How about, how about when you ask the questions, I put the microphone to that like they're asking them. Ingenuity right there. That's right. Put your 3D glasses. Oh, sorry, they can't hear me. Yeah, yeah. Put your 3D glasses on. That's right. Can Pass the Bulls do that? I don't know. All right, folks. That was a joke. Oh God. No one take that seriously. Do you read blog? I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. First question. It's gonna come from. I can't see because your microphone's in the way. You gotta put it down. <laughs> it's not gonna work for us. Nathan from Twitter. What's that username? Nate VK. When can we trade for Alexander Bolduc? Bowman. You want to do that right now? Yeah, right now. We're doing it right now. Cool. All right, yeah. Well, give me two seconds. Do the next question. I'll go trade for Bolduc. Bolduc, Bolduc done. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> nice pants, Rick. Thank you. Let me know when it's done. <sighs> Is Bolduc a big enough? Uh, no, he tore his ACL. He's out for the year. I, uh, I traded him to the... Uh, to the Maple Leafs. They wanted him. Well, know. nice. Yeah, they well, wanted him. Nate, we tried. We tried. We blew an ACL. All right, next question. This is from I Love Van Canucks. Me too. Oh, there we go. We're, All right. We're yeah. bonding. All we're right. bonding. Uh, will you please ask Eddie Lack if he happens to be a 14-year-old girl in disguise? We're getting pretty harsh here. Eddie! <laughs> yeah. Eddie! Eddie! Put down the, the hot dogs. We put, put down my little ponies and answer this question. Are you a 14-year-old girl in disguise. No, I'm not. Yes, like an adorable transformer. No, I'm not. He's saying no. He's saying no. He's saying no. No, he's not. He's saying no. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you, Ella Van Canucks. Eddie Lack, not a 14 year old girl. And definitely in the same room as us. He's right over there. Yep. But the camera just can't turn. Low budget. We blew it on the uh, hair, hair dye for. That was a good. Stupid face. That's All right. Next question. Next question. <clears throat> Farhan Mohammed. At Farhan Mohammed on Twitter. Has anyone tried the flying V yet? In the that's, season? that's perverse. That, that's, that's gross. We don't like that kind of question. I don't kind of Has show anyone tried the flying V yet? That's, like, I don't even know if that's possible with two guys, so I don't. I'm thinking that's. Well, it's, it's possible, but it's, it's not going to happen theory, on this show. It's the cold fusion of Karma Sutra moves. Let's that's just, right. Let's just say that. So, no, no flying Vs have been tried and are not going to be tried. Unless we get really drunk on Friday. Am I right? And even if so, that's none of your damn business. Exactly. So back off. Come on. All right. Question. We're going for these pretty good. Yeah. Next question from I Skeet o Oe Sauce. I'm, it I, sounds believe so I, I think it's I Skeet Soy Sauce. <laughs> Thank you. Bowman translating for me. I'm an expert in skeeting. <clears throat> hey, it's addressed to both Cut of us. Cut that, please. <laughs> it's addressed to both of us. It's not even a question. It's a demand. Trade for fake team Mussolini. Okay, first of all, this is this is questions, not demands. It's not the demand dirty mailbag. It's not the demand dirty mailbag. That sounds worse than the flying V, to be honest. That's true. That's that's disgusting. That's kind of a um, So, in an answer to your demand, you can't tell us what to do. I agree. Thank you. Back off, bro. Back off, bro. Come at me. Next C time. Come at us. Yeah. Good. Done. I don't know what that is, but it's... Is there a question with a question mark at the end of it on here? Um, they didn't put in a question mark, but it is a question addressed to both of us again. All right. Uh, hey, can I take a picture of Stan? Can you hold the camera, Bowman? That's just <laughs> that, it does not say that. Yeah, Shut it up. Doesn't say that. Uh, yeah, I want to know why the fake sodas cost six dollars. It's almost as much as fake beer. Bowman, you set the pricing in this league. What's the deal, man? Why are you ripping people off? I gotta get paid, man. No, don't even wear pants. Exactly. You can't afford pants and you want him to charge you less? Yeah. You, what, you want him to perform flying bees for people to make money? It's not going to happen. So, to deal with it, we're going to go with that? Yeah, deal with it. The price of soda is what it is. So, you know, the price is if you don't like it, go drink some water from the fountain. Exactly. That's what it's there for. All right. That was from Googly Boogly. He's a friend of the show. Is he? Yeah, he is. Well, 
friend. Thanks. He dresses you too. Oh, hey! It's, it's be nice to him. Sorry for being so antagonistic to you. Here we go. Uh, next question. This is actually about Mario. Huh? <laughs> Keith Chambers asks, "Why was the Tanuki suit special, anyways?" What the hell's a Tanuki suit? In Mario Brothers, you got a Tanuki suit, which I believe, if I remember correctly, you would hold down, hit a button, you turn into stone. Is that the raccoon suit? Uh, the raccoon would make you fly with the tail. No, it was the Tanuki. Like, like what like the a hell's teddy bear. a Tanuki suit? You look like a. It sounds like a fruit, but you look like a teddy bear. You turn into stone. I. We're not going to. I don't think that that exists. That's a lie. There you go. Who said that to us? That was Keith Chambers. Keith Chambers, why are you lying? There's no Tanuki suit. This is real. There was a here. frog suit. Yes. Right, that was awesome. That was sweet. There was the 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 suit that was white with red shirt and that you throw fireballs with. There was that suit. Yes. There was the raccoon thing, and then there was flying around with a dinosaur. And you could get into a boot in Mario Three. What? Because, yeah, this is. I guess Mario Three was before your time. You you got a lot of backtracking. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go play these. You got no. We don't have time for you to leave the room. All right, you sit, all right. You sit. All right. Have a six dollar soda. Sorry, Keith Chambers. I don't know why it was special. Next. That it's well worth each of the six dollars. Was that was it a fresh one or an old one? It's an old one. <laughs> warm. That's the one I urinated. <laughs> oh look at this! Pet Bugs thirteen asked Jay Bowman, "Who cuts your hair?" Who said this? Pet Bugs thirteen. He does the cool drawings. Uh, you know those the the graphs, the circles, uh, and he has a, he works for Connect Army. He does circles. That sounds yeah, a lot. Cool that sounds condescending. He does the cool drawings. They're circles. They're and, cool. Uh, they're graphs. They're graphs. They're, he's really good. at they're good. I like his stuff. Who cuts my hair? Who cuts your hair, though? Nobody. I just I just let it grow, man. I believe right now he has the flying bee going on. That's right. As That's soon as the lockout's over, then I'll go to my barber. But until then, yeah, this this thing's just going to go. Yep. A little crazy with it yep. sometimes. Yeah, it's versatile. Just, look at that. Look at that. That's Look at that there. You're looking intense, man. Nobody cuts my hair. And I think you can stay out of my personal affairs. <laughs> there you go. Hope that's your question. Uh, next question from Jason Daniels. That sounds made up. Uh, its name on Twitter is Jayon's Van. It's not even his full name. I guess someone else said Jason. That's that's unfortunate. It happens. Okay. Uh, Jay Bowman, this tension. Where is Fake Schneids and who's goaltending for the Wolves? Since he doesn't pay attention to the fake season, he just lies for everyone. Uh, yeah. Schneider is not here. We've heard he's become a sunglass model. And uh, he might be in the KHL. If you watched my other videos, you would have known that. So if you're a good fan, that was already answered. So you're just saying this fellow's not a good fan? Jason Daniels, I'm I'm gonna unfollow you right now. Done. Unfollowed. So I'm I'm gonna follow him. That's I like so where he's going with this. <laughs> One sec. Well you gotta you gotta one up me like that, don't you? Thank you. There, right. there you go. Right. Lost a follower, gained a follower. Even Steven. Alright. Next question. More about the pricing, man. You're really getting grilled on this. What the hell? <laughs> I heard fake beers cost eighteen ninety nine. What gives? That's a pretty high price point, I'm not going to lie. Well, to that I have to say, they could be nineteen ninety nine. So shut up, or else I'm going to do that. Done. Oh. That was from Quaker Oats CDC. He does some video work for the live streaming games. Does he really? Yeah. I'm so mean to people that can <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid of the I'm show? Sorry, Quaker you. Oats. Yeah, uh, thank you for your work. Um, fake beers, there is going to be an upcoming promotion where the fake beers are going to be eighteen ninety six because it was one of my favorite years. Because that was the year... Marshmallow defense of the Canucks, wasn't it? Was that the infamous quote from back when that Colorado Avalanche had the, uh, the marshmallow defense? A marshmallow defense? That was the big line. Do you remember? Back no! Pacquiao was overheard saying, oh, the, the Colorado Avalanche, they've got a marshmallow defense. That sounds delicious. It does, but... That sounds like delicious and something that would happen in a <laughs> hockey version of Ghostbusters. Maybe why the Canucks lost, because they thought of losing in their heads. That's it right. came true. Dan Aykroyd is like, oh, I hope there's not a marshmallow defense. <laughs> <laughs> there was one. There we go. <laughs> Hope we answered your question. There, there is somewhere. no defense. There is only Zool. <laughs> Gangster Zool. <laughs> All right. Next question. Oh shit! It's Cam Chiron. He's gonna hit. Hey, it's Cam. Cam Chiron. He's gonna nail us here. Cam's <laughs> smartest guy in the Legion of Blood. God damn it! He's gonna make us look dumb again. <laughs> it's not tough. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Whoa. Uh, do a wowie analysis with fake Henrik Sedin. I want to know how he does with fake Zach Cassian. Bowman, this is all yours. Uh, a wowie analysis with fake Henrik Sedin. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, I believe that's a with or without you, you analysis. Did you, did you see... What the hell's with her? 
Okay. Is there a song with or without you? Is that- yeah, okay, here's 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 there's a wowie analysis for Henrik Sedin. Did you see Henrik Sedin's assist to Zach Cassian the other night? I did. Wowie! What an assist. You nailed that. See that, Cam? Nailed you. Cam, Foster if you buddy. want me to send you any any whammy analysis, I can do that too. You can. Like for example, did you see Daniel drop the pass to Edler last night? <laughs> whammy! Boom. See? It's that simple. Advanced stats. I have no idea what wow we're, is. We're terrible. I'm sorry. Please don't ask us questions again, Cam. Uh, next, we're going to go with uh, ooh, Joshua Fang. On Twitter is Joshua underscore Kessler. Related to Kessler, I assume. Or else, why would you take that last name? Yeah. Who's winning the U.S. presidential election? Really throwing the ones, the hardballs at us tonight. Barack Romney. They're going to combine to form a Transformer president. It'll be like a terrible political Voltron. They'll never get anything done. Nope. And they'll be really smarmy about not getting anything exactly. done. Why would we do that? Yeah, that's stupid. That's something the 40, 57%, whatever it was, would do. That would take two men to get the job done. TV. <laughs> there you go. Next question. This is Canada. Yeah, exactly. This is what do we care? Yeah. What are they going to do to us? They don't live close to us. All right. Matt DeBoer, Dukes of Huggies. Huggles? What do you want to go with? That's Huggles. Right? One second. I'm getting closer. It's Dukes of Huggles. Dukes of Huggles. I love the name already. I believe that was taking his nickname in college. The Dukes of Huggles. Uh, could you show us a pie chart describing your planned Halloween activities? Uh, we just need one pie chart for this. Staying at home crying. Yep. Done. It's a pretty here. The shiny metallic surface represents the amount of time we'll, we'll be spending staying at home crying. And the fluorescent orange section represents time we'll be spending with, with our... Incredibly attractive girlfriends. Yeah. There, but there's no orange on there. I know. That's my roundabout waves. Admitting that we're painfully, painfully alone. Thanks, Matt DeBoer. Thank you for shining a light on our crippling loneliness. Awesome. Uh, let's move on. Please. Monster of Shap. The Shap crew in the house. Oh, jeez. Let's do the Oh, one. here they come. Instead of pop, pop, I go, Shap, Shap. We I don't do shap, either. Shap. But uh, you don't. I'm trying to get it to stick, but he's not my fan. Did you know the human head weighs eight pounds? Follow up. Did you know my neighbor has a pet bunny rabbit? I can truthfully answer no, no. Your turn. I'm curious. Does your neighbor's head weigh eight pounds? And if so, did you try and steal that bunny rabbit through murder? I feel there's more to this story. There's a lot. That's, that's two very different questions. That's true. The human head weighs eight pounds, and my neighbor also has a bunny rabbit. I don't, I don't. I don't think for, for our sake we should look at this any further. I'm gonna, no, I think plausible we should, deniability. Yeah, obviously. plausible deniability. We never read this. No idea. Wait, what it was. Hold, hold for editing. Delete. Wait. Go. Okay. Next question: If you could have one player from the Pats Canucks join the team now, who would it be? Lyndon and Burry. Not allowed. <laughs> On the count of three, let's just say it. we both know it. One, two, three. Jason Sergio James. Lamesso. Close enough. Yep. Sergio King. Sergio King. Jason Momesso. Either one of those guys. Top notch. <laughs> Dan Cluche. And I'm fired. <laughs> Don't even joke. That's it's not even funny anymore. Hey, Cluche, be all right. He's on the team again. He's That's right, yeah. Us. Cluche, if you want to give me an interview. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You would <laughs> kill me. That'd Dan Cluche terrible. would beat me like Sallow in the corner. It would be a new YouTube sensation. Um, that's it, man. That's all the questions. So that's it for the questions. We gotta get more questions next time. Here, I'll, I'll tweet you a question right now. Tweet me a question. All right, hold on. Tweet away. One more question. All right, let's see this one. Dear Stanchion, why is Jay Bowman so devastatingly handsome? Why is the Stanchion such a dick? That is not a real question. That's it's on there. Mean spirited. It's They're, on there. Because it's answer, on there. Answer the question, bitch. He's devastatingly handsome because he uses just for men beard dye. And and I'm a dick because I point to the beard dye. Makes sense. You heard it here first. I really hope they see the beard dye gag before we actually play this. Me <laughs> what's too. The, what's the beard guy? Otherwise, understand. this is very strange. It's terrible. All right. That's the first uh, dirty mailbag. Uh, <laughs> dirty mailbag. What is it? Uh, it's the, I think let's call it the dirty mailbag. The dirty mailbag is done. Thanks for the question, folks. We'll see you next time.